All right, chat. We got um, we got an official Devon video. How black is the darkest night? I mean, oh man. <laughs> How strong is the darkest night? Now, let me tell you something, bro. I don't know what they mean about the darkest night. I know there's the dark night, you feel me? And I'm assuming he's like the perfect version of Batman. The perfect night, aka is the darkest night. You feel me? Other than that, I really don't know. You know, the video just came out, so we actually need something to watch. So I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, man. Shout out to official Devon. Let's see what he got going on. The darkest night. Have you ever wondered what would happen when the day falls and the night rises? where Batman stops holding back in the shadowed alleys of Gotham oh! where the moonlight doesn't break through the clouds of being born from the ashes of a shattered childhood rising like the sun from the depths of despair one night this is how Batman should be though especially with the Joker he needs to stop holding back with him after a while the Batman wouldn't even be a thing if he just killed the Joker or put him in jail like for real for real though I think that's what it is right isn't that part of the show or something like he can't kill joker because deep down he needs the joker so that he can continue being batman he needs more crime to be batman and the only person to do that and give him the fun and the thrill of that is the joker or am i bugging batman loki loses aura because of his code sometimes yeah that is true the darkest night is literally insane well let's see night a gun was fired and one night rose to stop it but now we finally get to see what happens when you give a blood-lusted Batman prep time. And I'll be the first to tell you, it puts a smile on my face. In a different universe, on a different Earth, Batman watches in horror as the Joker goes on his biggest killing spree yet, killing Commissioner Gordon and all of Batman's rogues as Batman is drugged and paralyzed forced to watch Gotham burn in front of his eyes. Oh. Batman has always been a man of honor and code, becoming the greatest at what he does, refusing to break one rule. But tonight the Killing. air shifts as it shatters with the city of Gotham. Batman breaks the Joker's neck, but this was his greatest mistake. Batman inhales toxins from the Joker's heart, turning him into something far worse than the Batman. Ew. The Joker's breath stunk that bad, bro. That gas came out of it. Listen, man. Chat, I always joke around and say like, yo, brush your teeth, your breath stink, whatever, whatever. But please, go get a toothbrush. Get some toothpaste and brush your teeth, bro. This never would have happened if the Joker just brushed his teeth, bro. This is why it's so important, guys. Hygiene is important, man. And it made him go crazy. It made him dead ass like break his code. Nah, this is wild. From the Joker's heart, turning him into something far worse than the Batman. The true ending of Arkham Knight. Batman goes Ooh, on to burn harsh. Gotham, and his family that he built is ended in a blink of an eye. And even when the Justice League comes to stop him, oh. they are all killed one by one. Oh. And it makes him so happy, becoming the Batman who laughs. The Batman oh, who that's laughs where goes he's on from. to conquer. I mean, that's what that is. Oh, I've seen him before. Yeah. He ends up actually looking like the Joker. Oh, this is an actual psycho killer Batman. But how does he see, though? The Batman who laughs. The Batman who laughs goes on to conquer his entire dimension, residing in the universe named Earth Negative 22, turning everyone and everything into his personal pawns. The DC multiverse has two sides of the same coin. In the multiverse, everything is normal. And on the other side of the oh, coin everything's dark. is the dark multiverse, yeah. born from the fears that seep out of the regular one. Meaning every fear that a character has is manifested in the dark, like a nightmare you can't wake up from. Ooh. The Batman who laughs encounters Barbados, Batman's true father who wants to team up with him to invade the multiverse, bringing together many dark versions of Batman. Oh. And together they will cover the light of the multiverse in darkness. Oh. Launching a full invasion of the multiverse, the Batman who last stands as their leader, who was stated to be Batman who never loses. 
because a Batman who smiles is a Batman who wins. But after learning about godlike beings, he found a loophole to gain strength How? to rule over all of them. And How? my god, did he do it. How? The Batman who laughs found a Bruce Wayne that was hidden from the others. A Bruce Wayne with the powers of Dr. Manhattan. What? Yo, listen to me. I don't even know who Dr. Manhattan is. But from all the videos we've watched, all the different videos, and you guys telling me that this guy is literally like, like, right? Like the god, god of the DC universe, basically. How, bro? He's broken? Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's very OP, technically. How did Bruce just have that, bro? And I don't want to hear no explanation of a multiverse Bruce who has that power, bro. Like, that's, that's crazy. From the others, a Bruce Wayne with the powers of Dr. Manhattan, a being who can alter the DC multiverse and control all of space and time. This Batman was able to recreate the machine that turned John Osterman into Dr. Manhattan. Ha! And when he gets inside, he hears laughter. Trapping this universe as Bruce Wayne in the machine and turning it on, the Batman who laughs kills this Bruce Wayne before his powers can fully manifest. And this is the beginning of the end oh, before these shoot. events the batman who laughs teams up with perpetua the mother of the multiverse and is able to manipulate her into believing that she needs his help to regain her strength what? by flooding her body with crisis energy <laughs> crisis energy is a result of every event in dc comics that shatters reality every single one of those events across the infinite multiverse condense into energy that the Batman who laughs gives to her. Wally West. Yo, bro. Oh, my brother Wally West. Yo, I, wait, when we found out about him, that was pretty dope. This is the fastest, fastest flash. Anyways, I thought that this was gonna be like, you know, something that is within just the universe. Like, oh, here's this type of Batman. You know, he exists, he does this, this, and that. But this had its own lore and went through the entire universe and all that. That's actually pretty dope. So now imagine, right? They make a show about this or a trilogy, same thing, because they had the Dark Knight. But what if they had the Darkest Knight? I feel like this would pop uh, because I can already see like that outfit, you know, like in the movie. I feel like that's going to look so fire and it's dark. Yeah, it's going to be a darker version of the Batman, like the Batman that actually kills. OK, so what is he going to do with Wally West, though? It's into energy that the Batman who laughs gives to her. Wally West, the fastest man alive at this time, was able to get the powers of the Mobius chair, which is a portion of Dr. Manhattan's powers, allowing him to become omniscient oh. or all-knowing. But when he looks into the infinite multiverse, he sees the Batman who laughs and states that he's a threat to all of it. Diana wanted to take the crisis energy and infuse it into the Mobius chair, but the Batman who laughs cut it off and is killed by Diana. But this is a Batman who never loses, being all part of his plan. Oh, he, After yeah. the Batman who laughs dies, his brain is transferred into the Bruce Wayne with the powers of Dr. Manhattan, mm. becoming a being who is one with every version of Batman in history, Holy down shit. to the very DNA of who Batman is. He isn't the Batman who laughs anymore. He's turned into... He swore an oath on his parents' grave that he would avenge their deaths by protecting others from their fate. He trained for years to uphold this oath, traveling the world, perfecting- Wait, say that one more time? What was his oath? Parents' grave that he would avenge their deaths by protecting others from their fate. He trained for years to uphold this oath, traveling the world, That's not perfecting good. his mind and body. He embraced a creature that haunted his youth and transformed himself into a living symbol, a caped crusader. But if he was the real Batman, his story would have ended here. But he has a revelation, something he's never realized till right now. Batman has always been a reaction from the bullet that was fired on that one night. Just as he has a reaction, so does every Batman in the infinite creation. Oh, that's why he's not a Batman at all, not one who cries or one who laughs not even the combination of every batman so what he's the far more than that he's what? more than the alley and more than the gun so who he's the, the cause he has to become the bullet he wants what? to become okay bro y'all lost me bro <laughs> yeah. 
I liked it, the concept at first. But now they went too deep with it, bro. He, he has to become the bullet in the alley. No, he has to become the bullet that was fired from the gun in the alleyway. It all connects to that alley. So then this is my thing. Why is he trying to protect people from their fate? It's their fate, bro. It was supposed to happen. It's their canon event. Mm. Come on, man. He's the cause. He has to become the bullet. He wants to become the cause, not just for the identity of Batman, but for the entire DC multiverse. Jeez. Becoming the reason that everything lives and everything dies. What? Becoming the reason for miracles and the reason for disaster. Becoming the bullet that's fired at the entire DC multiverse, oh. enslaving it all. And even speedsters can't dodge this because for the multiverse's brightest day, there will always, always be the darkest night. Mm. He's so powerful what that he can hold bar, multiverses bro. in his hands and scales above realms that. Hold on, what do you say? He's so powerful that he can hold multiverses in his hands and scales above realms that transcend concepts themselves, falling into a rabbit hole to the fifth dimension where characters like Mr. Mixie can view creation like a 2D disc, scaling above Limbo, a realm where every character goes to when they die. Oh yeah? The Monitor Spear in 6th Dimension, where the most powerful cosmic beings reside. Shaking the God Spear with his presence, and the lights of Hypertime are flickered out. He steals the speed from speedsters, obliterating the speed force itself. Wally West on the Mobius chair proclaims that the darkest night is the most evil being that the multiverse has ever seen, past, present, or future. Holy After stealing shit. the crisis energy from the Mobius chair, he becomes unstoppable, creating a multiverse in his hands infested with evil versions of every character in all of creation, and he wages war on creation itself, huh? where all the heroes and villains team up to try and stop him, and they're still losing. He takes on Superboy Prime, who is able to retcon the entire DC multiverse with a single punch, and he was still holding back. Bro thinks he's calm, and like even when the mother of the multiverse, Perpetua, stands up to stop him, she is killed and has her energy absorbed into darkness. Perpetua Yo, okay, so this is another thing. By the way, they're grabbing planets. Hold on, stop bro. Him. She is killed and has her Oh, look, they're fighting with planets, bro. These guys are massive. Anyways, right? So, boom. They say that he's from a different universe, a different timeline or something. But because he's omnipotent or whatever and can control... No, omnipotent, whatever. And he can control... Uh, 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 uh. Control and create universes and multiverses and whatever. Wouldn't that make him main universal stuff? Like, wouldn't they make him canon? I'm, I'm too weak right now, chat. And then also, right? This, this timeline, this The Darkest Night timeline, this lore... I feel like it needs to be more mainstream. I feel like it can't just be a comic book. They need to make a game or a show or a movie or something. Like, this is too good. There's so much here. The multiverse perpetuous. And people would love it because it's Batman. Him. She is killed and has her energy absorbed into darkness. Barbetua is unimaginably stronger than Barbados, who can crack the multiverse by screaming. And the darkest night is gaining even more strength. The darkest night is saving his energy to fight beings that even Perpetua is afraid of. Ooh. The hands, which are cosmic beings who are responsible for creating the Omniverse, which houses infinite multiverses, and were stated to be beings with unrivaled strength and unrivaled fear. The darkest night having the power of every crisis event in history. What? Even the events of Final Crisis the story of cosmic armor superman and the only way Whoa! to defeat him cosmic armored superman cosmic armored wait what is he like then yo official divine i'm gonna need a video on this bro asap the story of cosmic armor superman and the only way to defeat him is to send him to the end of creation to the red sun of death where his story will be forcefully ended the beginning of the, of the end. end. Overall, the darkest night would scale seven layers into outer versal. Is that good? With irrelevant speed. And shout out to Avery who dropped Yo, 50 Avery, to shout out to this you. video. In the end, this truly was Batman's greatest mistake and why you should never push him too far. 
because the multiverse itself will get lined up in the barrel waiting to fire. When the Batman who laughs woke up on the operating table after becoming the darkest night, he already knows what the evil Alfreds are going to say before they even speak. They ask him if it worked and if he's okay. The gun is here, the multiverse has a fang. The first thing he says is, bang. What's up guys, it's Devon. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe and yep. hit that notification. Yo bro, yo bro, you don't lost me bro. But I love this story. I like how it just started as like, like the Joker basically killing off everybody. His breath stunk so bad. <gasps> Chat, that's the canon event. <laughs> that's the canon event. Someone's breath smelling like shit. Oh my God. So anything can be, yeah, a stinky breath. Anything can be a canon event, bro. This would have never happened if it wasn't for Joker's dookie stained smelling ass breath bro <laughs> so yeah the joker was killing everybody his breath stunk batman snapped his neck pink he smelled it he said <laughs> what the fuck yeah and then from there it went to the batman that smiles and then from the batman that smiles but became an a ultimate seven layered above god level threat that's fine and then that thing about cosmic armored superman bro said he's not allowed to lose bro all i thought dude was rich superhero who whoops bad guys his asses as at, at, at night but this is much more than that yeah i thought the darkest night was gonna be the perfect form of batman the one that yeah that you do let uh prepare on time and you know the the super iq one that knows everything or something because i know he has like a uh a contingency plan to like stop every justice justice league member so i thought that was gonna be him or something i don't know but this is different this is like the actual batman that gets powers but yeah that was dope let me see what they talk about in the comments because for the multiverse's brightest day there will always be the darkest night that was so fire bro your ability to make power scaling so damn entertaining is truly special that's facts bro because some of y'all being been uh requesting some videos but like if official divine not making it i ain't watching bro because he just you know, it's so entertaining the way he does it.